Yeah, Jesus, get Buddha. Hi, guys. Look. Box. I got me a big old box of Rivals of Ixalan to open up, and instead of breaking this into three videos, this is gonna be one massive video, but here's the gimmick. Here's the, I always have a gimmick up my Jewish sleeves. There are four playmats under this one playmat, well, three playmats under this one playmat, and every time we opened a number of packs that has no actual number yet, I'm just gonna do it as I go. I'm gonna remove a mat, and you'll see a new background. Why is this interesting? It's fucking not. Box of Rivals of Ixalan, but before we open that up, my local game store that I bought this at, uh, he gave me a buttload of promos, and also this thing. The Buy a Box Ixalan Treasure Chest. This is not a chest. This is a pack of cards. He also gave me a ton of promos. I think most of these are uh, promos that I've gotten through leagues uh, that I just forgot to pick up, and he gave them to me. But here we got a pirate token. Which also has a, it's a foil, and a foil treasure token. Got the Earl of Squirrel, the Baptist TV minister version. Not a fan of that art, it looks really weird, but I guess that's the point of Unstable. Vampire token, with another treasure token. Got ourselves a Bishop of Rebirth. A Galta, Primal Hunter. I'm missing a card. And a Silvergill Adept. Yeah, I'm missing a card. I was missing three cards, and fun fact, these weren't in my car. They fell out of my hand and fell on the floor on the asphalt. And there's a huge puddle, but somehow these did not get in the puddle. They're actually fine. Uh, it was another uh, token. It's a dinosaur and another treasure token. Wow, the light's really dark. And then we got a Brass's Bounty. And this was the, bi the actual Buy a Box promo, a gr uh, captain's hook. What's a grappling hook? We're gonna open this buy a box Ixalan promo. So according to the uh, a friend of mine who owns the store, he said they come with five foil basic lands and some other random stuff. And apparently you can get the flip land, uh, the flip enchantments in the set too. So here we got a uh, what is this? Oh, we got dowsing dagger as our flip card. So there's our uh, you got a foil card. So it's a foil dowsing into lost veil. Uh, hey, we got a, oh that's not a foil. That's just right. We got Vana butcher of Magan. I thought that was a foil. But it's pretty good. We got bon, uh, Vana, Glory Bound Initiate, Adorn Pouncer. That's a card I like. I play that card a lot. Uh, Secret Salvage. And then we have Endless Sands, Long Tusk Cub. And oh, you don't get all the lands. You just get some. You get two foil lands. That's pretty cool. So we got a foil islands and a foil forest. I like that pack. Look, we got a Long Tusk Cub. That's neat. All righty. It's time to open up our Rivals of Ixalan. And I don't have a knife near me, so I'm gonna use a comb. I'm a comb and a- wow, that actually worked. Cannot believe the comb opened a box. First time ever in the history of Mahajic the Gehathering. So yeah, I am not gonna split this into three videos. It's gonna be one video. We're opening this entire box, but first, we're changing the mat into... After I hit my lighting thing up here. Into uh, Ewit, Eternal Witness. It's nice and pretty. I'm gonna clear some space over here so I have somewhere to put all the commons on commons and everything. And let us begin. I'm not gonna open it in any order. I'm just gonna start opening it. Uh, I have a place with garbage too, which is right here. Alrighty, let us begin. So I'm not gonna go through all the commons. I will show them off, but I'm not gonna read them. This is a very good card, and if you get it in uh, limited, you should play around it. Uh, Jungle Creeper. We got wood, uh, Woodland Streams, Majestic Heliotaurus, whatever. And our first rare is a Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, this is the Double Explorer. So I pulled the foil version of this, and the foil version of this is, as of the pre-release, like 20 bucks. I don't know if it's worth anything now, but whatever. Uh, so you guys heard about the new YouTube rules, where you have to have a certain amount of views uh, for the past 12 months and a certain amount of subscribers. Hey, turns out, I'm still keeping my partnership. Yeah, still putting those ads in the videos. All 13 of them. Actually, it's probably like four, three or four. But uh, yeah, I get to keep my, uh, my uh, partnership. I was actually really scared that I would lose it. I've been around for a long time, so 10 years. Oh wait, is when I started my channel. So if I lost my, uh, if I lost my uh, partnership, that would really suck. Not that I make money off of it. Next rare is a Tomb Robber, not to be confused with Tomb Raider, which uh, has really pointy boobs. And a Plains and a Sapperling token. What does Tomb Robber do? 
Menace, discard a card, Tomb Robber, Explorers. That's not bad, actually. You can uh, kind of do something that with Madness. Plus, you get the Explore trigger, which lets you either draw, not draw a card, but draw a land, or look at a card. Next pack. Sea legs. All right, what are we hoping from this box? I don't know. I'm not really hoping for anything. I just felt like getting a box. I have not opened a box in quite a long time. We have the uh, Dinosaur Tutor, Raging Regisaur, Expel from Orzaka, and Paladin of Atonement. The beginning of your upkeep, if you lost life this turn, put a plus one on him. And when he dies, you gain life equal to its toughness. Hey, that's not bad. So, what do you guys think about the set? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you miss the secret rares, those inventions, those invocations? Personally, I don't. I'm kind of happy these doesn't have any, so I don't have to be chasing crazy expensive cards. I got a foil in this pack, by the way. Strength of the pack, Blazing Hope, Baffling End. I love the look of that dinosaur. And we got a, hey, hey, our first mythic, a Twilight Prophet. So what does this do? Flying Ascend. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the City's Blessing, reveal the top card of your library and put it in your hand. Each opponent loses X life and gains X, and you gain X life, or X is the mana cost. That's pretty good. And our foil, oh, that's a beautiful foil, though. Aquatic Incursion. Very, very nice foil. The foil merfolk cards in this set are beautiful. The coloring on their heads is just really neat. That was a weird statement, wasn't it? The coloring on their heads. That was weird. Dinosaur. Spitting dinosaur. He's gonna ruin that shirt. He's gonna spit his juices all over that shirt. That was disgusting. Alrighty. I'm not even counting anymore. Why? Because I don't care. I actually care quite a lot. Stormfleet Swashbuckler. Pirate's Pillage, Pride of the Conquerors, and a form of dinosaur. Form of the dinosaur, rather. Uh, when Andrew's Battlefield, your total life becomes 15. Begin your upkeep. Form of the dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to power. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not good. Am I reading this right? This card sucks. That card's poopy. Why the hell would you ever play that? It's such a huge risk. Your life becomes 15, and then, like, every upkeep, you take damage. Maybe, if they cast anything. Huh, whatever. Whatever. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we'll count it. Hey, we got a foil. So we got Imperial Ceratops, Thunder Herd Migration, Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. This card is damn good and limited. It killed me so many times. We got a Siege Horn Ceratops, Selesnia Dinosaur, when it uh, emerged. So whenever it deals damage, put two plus one counters on it. And our foil, hey, Sailor Means. This card is good. Gives you a, uh, gives you a treasure token. I'm trying to go quick because the light's dying, and I really want to film this. Alrighty. Uh, oh, oh no, that's an E-Wild. How many times have they printed E-Wilds? Sick of that card. Reckless Rage. Merfolk Mistbinder. Is that the uh, Lord? Yay! We got a Merfolk Lord. This card's good. Oath Sworn Vampire and Induced Amnesia. Hey, City's Blessing. We got the City's Blessing. I'm gonna stop saying hey! Induced Amnesia. When enters the battlefield, target player exiles cards from his or her hand face down and draws that many cards. When Induced Amnesia. Oh, this is kind of like a blue wheel. Kind of. Really, really kind of. Not. It, it, it's fine. It's just fine. Next booster. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No foil. This card's good, by the way. Impale. Especially if you have three of them. Then you can play all of them and not win. Forsaken Sanctuary, Thrashing Bronodon. This card is also very, very good. It is a Rex, and not a Rex Age. It's a Costa Caterpillar. A little bit more expensive Costa Caterpillar, but it has a huge body. Did I Brawler? Yeah! We got Zakama, Primal Calamity. This card. Oh my god, this card. Look at this card. This it's a it's a Hydra Dinosaur! It's a Hydra, let me say that, a Hydra Dinosaur, that's a band name. It's a Hydrosaur. He's so cuddly, except not in any way, shape, or form. I am happy to get that, that guy's awesome. Oh, I'm a commander player, so I'm happy to get any legendary, to be honest with you. Hey, it's a spitter, Frill Death Spitter, even in its name. He spits so much, they even gave it the name. Death Spitter. Dinosaur Tutor Man, Focus, Jungle Creeper, Raging Regisaur, and Von is Hunger. This card is also very good. Makes someone sack a creature unless you have City's Blessing, in which case they sack half their creatures. Round it up. A lot of packs in this box. I'm running out of breath. So how are you guys doing? What's up with your lives? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. I would love to get a foil, uh, for, I forgot the name, Zakama. 
Woodland Stream, Majestic Heliopterus, Sadistic Sky Marcher, and Sphinx's Decree. This card is also very good. And we got a little checklist thing with an elemental. Yeah, it's silence essentially. Each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery during that player's uh, next turn. It's uh, mass silence, so it's like EDH friendly silence. I don't even know how many packs we're in. A lot. We're in a lot of packs. I hit the camera. I are professional. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Foul Orchard. Thunder Herd Migration. Famished Paladin. And Zapala, Primal Dawn, uh, a.k.a. Angry Old Dinosaur Yells at Clouds, and then Eats a Sun. Yeah, you eat that sun. You get all those sun vitamins. I, I'm, I'm avoiding the obvious altar to make one of the dinosaurs Barney. Um, more than likely, going to have to make the, uh, the green one Barney, because uh, to be honest with you, that's, that's, that has the disposition of Barney right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Thress. No foil. Slippery Scoundrel. Silvergill Adept. Charging Tuscadon. And, oh, we got a flip card. We got Profane Procession. It is a uh, Orzhov Enchantment. Exile target creature. Then if there are three or more cards exiled with Profane Procession, transform it. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Put a creature card exiled with this permanent onto the battlefield under your control. That's pretty cool. You kind of create a, lo a little sideboard on the side. Oh, guys, treasure. Let's crack it. You lied to me. And you know what time it is? It's time for a mat change. The changing of the mats. Are you ready to see what's next? Are you ready to see what's next? It's bunnies. It's motherfucking bunnies. Let's keep going. Let's not even mention the carrots. And how carrots are phallic look. Oh, fuck this card. All right, one, two, uh, focus. Three, one, two, three. Uno, dos, trace. No foil. I got Traveler's Amulet, though, because that needed a reprint. Slippery Scoundrel, uh, Art Arterial Flow, another another really good dinosaur, and World Shaper. Uh, he gets live, He gets uh, lands from the grave, right? Yeah, he's good. Pretty good in, uh, or probably good in uh, Worms. Not Worms, in, uh, Jesus Christ, Worms. In uh, Gitrog Monster. I don't know why I said Worms. Maybe because I, I don't know, maybe because if I built Gitrog Monster, I was thinking about playing Worm Harvest, and, and it came to mind. Anyway, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is it me, or are we getting, like, the same commons and uncommons? Yes! Vampire Lord. I think this guy's gonna be pretty good. Pirate's Pillage. Crested Herd Caller. And our rare is a Tender Shoot Dryad. What does he do? We give him your upkeep. Create a 1-1 one -one Sapperling Creature Token. Sapperlings get plus two, plus two, as long as you have the City's Blessing. For five. Well, the art's neat. Uh, I don't know if that card's good at all, but... Yeah, the art's neat. So we pulled two mythics so far, right? So we got a. Uh, that guy is absolutely a mythic, and then we got the, the black one. Yeah. So we have two mythics so far. I think you net about four to five mythics a box. So let's see if we can pull more. Preferably planeswalkers, because they're good. They're really good. I have pulled. I have a place out of this guy already. Three, three, one, two, three. No foil. Pitless plunder. Riverwise auger. Stormfleet Sprinter. I think this is going to be a really good card as well. And then we got Wayward Swordtooth. Ascend. Uh, you may play additional land on each of your turns. Uh, can, can't attack or block unless you have the City's Blessing. So he is essentially an Azusa Lost for Seeking, just without the good stuff that makes Azusa Lost for Seeking. God, talking is hard. It's really hard opening packs on camera. Three, two, three. God, how, how do you guys do it? Gotta stand here and be entertaining and shit. Uh, Aerozakin Seeker, that fucking name. Baffling End. Aquatic Incursion. And we got a Champion of the Dusk. That looks like a Warhammer figure. Uh, when I ask the battlefield, you draw X cards and those X life where X is the number of vampires you control. Well, he's probably going to be going in, uh, what the fuck's the name of it? An Agar Markov decks. We need more Mythics. I need just a box full of Mythics, please. Do it. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, we got a foil. Four, uh, Foul Orchard, Forerunner of the Herald. So what is he tutor for? Oh, he tutors for Merfolk. This card's good. Charging Tuscadon and a rare is a Brass's Bounty. I have a foil promo of that. And our, hey, we got a full Travels Amulet. It's not really good, but it looks neat. Also, I've pulled like 50 of these. Every time I put the stack of commons on the stack, it, it there's so many of these freaking Sworn Guardians. I have to, yo, Wizard, stop printing this. I guarantee I'm going to pull one in here. I guarantee it. Watch. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I've been proven wrong. Also, I didn't get a foil. Highland Lake, uh, Imperial Ceratops, Siren Reaver, and a rare is a War Kite Marauder. What is this? Text. Oh, right. Uh, turn something to an 01. Alrighty. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another foil. Wow, we're making good on the foils. Enter the Unknown. Pride of Conquerors. Arterial Flow. We got... Oh, we got a flip card. That's why the foil rare is outside. So we got Masterminds Acquisition. Choose one. Search your library for a card. Hey, and foil. This card's probably worth something. And then the uh, other one is choose a card from your outside the game and put it in your hand for four. God damn, this card actually might be worth something. I'm going to put this with the Mythics. And then uh, Hadana's Climb. It's kind of weird that you get the uh, you get the foil in front if you pull a flip card. That's just a little strange. So yeah, we got nothing because it flew in the box. We got Hadana's Climb. Turns into Wing Temple of Urzaka. And that just gives a creature plus X plus X and flying, I believe. I could read the card, but I just want to pretend to be right. Just let me have that. Oh my god, guys, the sun's going down. The sun's going down on me. Oh, I thought I heard someone honking. From really far away. Make your entrance. There's my entrance. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another foil. Ooh, baby. Uh, well, we already pulled a foil rare, so. Stone Quarry. Sky Marcher Aspirant. Ravenous Chupacabra. That card's good. We got a Protein Raider. That's my third one. I love the art on that card, but this card's pretty garbage. Hey, Foil Impale. That's neat. Foil removal. And then the city's blessing again. God, I don't want any more protein riders. Or raiders. I have enough protein. I am not protein deficient. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Pitless plunder. Horn swoggle. I love the name of that. Cacophodon. And yeah, Blood Sun. I wanted this card. I really, really wanted this card. A friend of mine pulled a foil of this card, and at the time it was like sixty freaking dollars. God damn, I love that card, Blood Sun. We have a lot of packs left, guys. We have too many, so I'm gonna start moving and just take them out of the box. You can buy binders at Ultra Pro. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No four. Four run of the Heralds. Golden demise. Aquatic incursion, and a rare is a flip card. We got our flip Storm the Vault. Which I also have, and I think it's pretty good. Yeah, this is, uh, what the hell is its name? It is Talarian Academy. It uh, adds one for each artifact you control. Next pack. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Killing me with the foil, Smalls. Cherished Hashling. Mausoleum Harpy. Full run of the Coalition. This is a Pirate Tutor. And we got Path of Discovery. It's not Path to Exile, but it'll do. When a creature enters the battlefield and you control, it explores. That's not bad. That actually is not bad at all. I could play that in something. Let's pick it out of the box. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, uh -huh. one, two, three. No foil. Blazing Hope. Muslim Harpy again. Daring Buccaneer. And another mythic. We got Time Stream Navigator. This is a. Creature, human, pirate, wizard, ascend. Put time stream navigator on the bottom of his library. Take an extra turn after this one. Activate this ability only if you have the city's blessing. I don't know if that should be a mythic, but it is a mythic. And we pulled it. We all have to live with that. Next pack. I hate these friggin' Minecraft ads. Burn them all. Just put them in a bonfire and burn them. Poopy. No foil in that one. Stormfleet Swashbuckler, Siren Raven, Needletooth Raptor, and a, hey, this is Red Snapcaster Mage, as everyone has been calling it incorrectly. Uh, it is essentially Red Snapcaster Mage, except you don't have the things that make Snapcaster Mage great, like Flash, uh, but you can cast an instant sorcery from someone's grave that is not you, uh, for free, I believe, which I guess makes it a Snapcaster Mage. It's not. It's just not. Next pack! Okay, I guess I'll go slower now. I don't know why I'm speeding. I guess because the light's going away and I don't like filming in the dark. Because it scares me. It's really scary. That name, Seer. Another Chupacabra. Cacophodon. We got a Wakened Amalgam and a Foil. I oh, no, a Foil. Yeah, Wakened Amalgam. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of diff... 
Hold on. What are equal to the number of differently named lands you control? Okay. And I love the I love the flavor text. The fools have done it. That's I in, I have not seen that card before. That is an interesting card. We're gonna open uh, these and then this stack right here. This stack is gonna be played under the last mat, which you'll see after four packs have been opened and bad jokes have been made. Fuck this Minecraft thing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Wait, it's still here. I told you to go away. Vampire Lord. Replenished Griffin. Very good art. Silver Gill Adept. And our rare is a Radiant Dis Dis Destiny. I almost said Destiny. Radiant Destiny. Uh, if it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control the chosen type get plus one, plus one, as long as they have the city's blessing. They also have vigilance. This is pretty good. I like this card. Pooping out. We got three mythics so far. Uh, more than likely we'll get at least one more. Hopefully two. I would really like it if we get two. I'd love it if I get six more. That'd be great. Relentless Raptor, Highland Lake, Expel from Orzaka, and Itali Primal Storm. Hey, we got a foil land. I didn't even notice that. Foil uh, Basic Swamp. That's cool. That goes in the foil pile over here. Uh, oh, it's the Red Elder Dinosaur, yeah. So, uh, Red Man yells at Mount- Red Dinosaur yells at Mountains. When it attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. Then you may cast any number of non line cards, exile this way without paying the man. Eh, that's pretty good. Better if he had haste, I think, but, uh, I guess you really couldn't give him haste without breaking the game. Or as Wizards now designs cards around. Three. One, two, three. Focus. One, two, three. No foil. You hate me, don't you? Blazing Hope. Everdawn Champion. Swift Warden. Oh, we got a flip. But yeah, there's the uh, Golden Guardian guy I was talking about before. A Gold Forge Guardian, I should say. Yeah, he makes uh, for four and tap, he makes uh, four, four go uh, colorless golem tokens. They're not bad. It's a pretty good card. And we got an emblem. We got the uh, Hutali emblem. Now let's pull her. Alrighty. I would like a Planeswalker. I mean, come on. A foil Planeswalker would be great. That'd rule. Strength in the pack. Sadistic, sadistic Sky Marcher, Dire Fleet Neckbreaker, and Release to the Winds. Uh, exile target non online permanent for as long as this as that card remains exiled. Its owner may cast it without paying its mana cost. Ooh, that's an interesting card. Huh. That is a very interesting card, actually. Oh, let's go ahead and move these over here so we can we can bust out a new mat. Because now we're going to end on a mat that everyone loves. And most people are not smart enough to understand how good it is. Yeah, that's right. The RK Post Rick and Morty Mat. That's right, bitches. We're doing our last one, two, three, four, five, six packs on the Rick and Morty Mat. Feel the power. Feel the Mr. Poopy Butthole in the Pencil Vester. Do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Enter the Unknown. Stormfleet Sprinter. Shake the Foundations. I love that card because it has that art. And then, Kumetra's, uh, Kumena's Awakening. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card. If you have the City's Blessing, instead only you draw a card. That's cool. Checklist. Yeah, checklist token. Or card, probably. Whatever. Dominaria. Oh, I can't wait for Dominaria. There's Karn looking all cool and shit. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, we got a foil in this one. Uh, Curious Obsession. C Red. I see red. Shake the foundations. I got Admiral's order, and our foil is a. Oh god, I, thought that, I don't know what I thought that was actually. Uh, foil is a Highland Lake. Admiral's order is a counter spell that costs one if you attack with some Highland Lake foil. At least it looks cool. I've pulled the planes work in so long. I want more. They're cool. Three, two, three, one, two, three. No foil. We got Curious Obsession again. See red again. Swift Warden. Didn't we pull the same exact uncommons? Uh, maybe not. Huh. Maybe seem that way. Swift Warden and yes, Elanda, the Dusk Rose. That is good. I wanted that card. So it's not a Planeswalker, but at least we pulled a really good uh, Orzov Commander. Three packs. I mean, I didn't know what I was expecting. I really wanted that three-headed dinosaur, so I got it. So I'm I'm happy. Um, and then I also wanted Elanda. So you know, I guess I'm happy. But I'm still wanting a Planeswalker. Flood of Recollection. Everdon Champion. Reaver Ambush, and we got the black dinosaur, Tezka, 
or the Black Elder Dinosaur, I should say, Primal Death. That looks cool. He's so spiky that he doesn't have problems using a fork. We're at last two packs, guys. We only got two left. This one and this one. Can we pull a Planeswalker? Not likely, because we already pulled four, uh, four Mythics. But, there's always a chance. Relentless Raptor, Pitless Plunder, Reaver Ambush, and... Well, we pulled another Mythic. <laughs> Kumena, Tyrant of Orzaka. Alright, so we pulled five Mythics. That's a pretty good odds. Those are some good odds. Uh, for a Commander player especially, I pulled a lot of the uh, Planeswalkers. I guess the only one I'm missing is the, uh, the Sphinx, right? Yeah. I don't have that Sphinx one, which my friend uh, Frank really, really wants. Uh, the Sphinx one is probably, I think, the better one. Maybe Alonda was a better one. I don't know. But yeah, uh, Kumena is pretty good. It is a 3-drop uh, Legendary. Tap another Merfolk you control. He cannot be blocked. And then tap 3 on Merfolks you control, then draw a card. Tap 5 Merfolks you control, put a plus on counter on each Merfolk you control. That is really good if you can get a ton of Merfolks out, which you usually can. They're pretty cheap and uh, plentiful, shall we say. So for this last pack, we're going to read every card. I'm not going to go quick through it. A River Darter, Legion Conquistador, Goblin Trailblazer, Vicious Vampire, Plummet, Recover, Luminous Bonds, Sworn Guardian, friggin' Sworn Guardians again, Traveler's Amulet, and we got the Merfolk uh, Lord, which goes really good with my brand new Kumena. We got Forsaken Sanctuary, Baffling End, and our last card is... Yeah, Silent Gravestone. Oh, we got a foil. Hey, we got a foil uh, Raptor Champion. Which I think is one of the cards that's both in Ixalan and this set, I believe. For some weird reason. Uh, Silent Gravestone. First off, that art is just beautiful. I love it. And second off, this card's really good. And I think it'll go up in money, too. Because it is essentially a Graph Stickers cage. A very, very good Graph Stickers cage. And then we end with the City's Blessing. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later with more videos. But until then, I gotta go clean all that shit up.